people mad and sad. Nigerians. Today, I want to talk to you about my SARS experience. This happened late last year, November, around November, through December. 2019. Honestly, I've heard a lot about them, but I never believed all that I've heard until I witnessed it myself. I was called that my younger brother has been arrested and um, he has since then been locked up. We went to the high RT in the Keja GRA. We asked for them, we mentioned the name and they said no, they are not with they are not there. They are still taking them everywhere they go to. If they go to Abel Kuta, they take them in the Jeep. If they go to uh, anywhere at all they go to, or your state anywhere, they take them along with them. Even at the um, police headquarters in uh, Ikeja where we went to, we went to the SAS session. At the SAS session there, I also saw the SAS men there at the gate collecting 10,000 naira from people before they could see, they, before, they, before they could be allowed to go around and see, check if they are, they are, they are, they are, the person they are looking for is there. 10,000 naira. And if you don't have it, they chase you away. At the end, we got another call that they are at uh, Ibadan. We went to Ibadan. We saw them. The, the high PO called Adekunle, whatever, came out to me and uh, he narrated some stories to me that before my brother was brought to me that, oh, yeah, we discovered that it's not part of those that uh, invaded the streets at Ikosi, came to the morning side in about uh, six or whatever years ago and that uh, but all they know is that okay he's a member of uh, uh, cultism and uh, uh, they found uh, his name they are looking for one particular name and they found his name that tally with that person's name on one of the coffee that they have already picked so they now felt okay the guy should call them so they, 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 the guy now called my brother to come and meet him at a, a Mary Lunch, unknowingly that oh the SARS were with the guy that uh, called him. So when he got there, they just picked him. And immediately they picked him up. They said he should start calling his family that he knows that can bail him. They know that he's not yes, he's not the one they are looking for. That they know the person they are looking for. But he's not the one they are looking for. But he should call. It's family that can bail him out. 
and he started calling calling he couldn't even get me not until when i just got a call from his landlord that oh so, so something has happened to my brother those that were caught the culprits that were caught and even they found guns and some other dangerous weapons in their house those ones were released why because their family they were able to pay they gave them i heard about uh, one of them gave them 1.2 million 500,000 600,000 so they left them but they were saying that okay i said now that you know that my brother is not part of those that you are looking for then why are you still keeping him there why now they now started roping in a lot of offenses here and there. oh my god i said what is going on in this country why are you people always so difficult like this all because you want all this money that you people are collecting where are this money going to where, where exactly is the money going to do they share it among themselves or the money is being remitted into federal government account which i am i strongly believe that it is not so honestly i just don't know exactly what can be done to restructure this country especially even everything everything in this country our orientation need to be changed now when they discovered that okay i was not ready to make any payment do you know what they did they now arranged my brother and two other guys who believed that because they were not part of what they were talking about they decided not to pay and their family did. all the guns they collected are you listening my people all the guns and weapons they collected from those that were were caught that they were, were in the action of what they were looking for they now put the guns in front of my brother and the other two guys that were caught they now paraded them that they were the culprits they were those that caused the mayhem that you know occurred so 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 time at so 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 place all because we were unable to make that payment they arraigned them before the court they collected their phones and never returned their phones back those using iphone solid phones they collected everything and they never returned there's one particular boy that was having because they went to pick him from his place of work uh, where they picked him from uh, at the spot where they picked him from he was having about 40 something thousand naira on him they collected that money and when they, they now arrange them before court now listen when they arrange them before court the court they didn't in the statement i was opportune to get the statement and i read it they were they didn't even mention all the items that they collected from them they didn't return everything but at least if you are taking them to the court you returned all their belongings to the court and even if they charge them to prison or whatever they they, they 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 will now you know take all their belongings it will be in the custody of the warders nothing like that was done and one of them was telling them that see you people refuse to pay this money i will make sure that you guys will never set eyes in the sun again in your life can you imagine that and there's this particular officer his name is Semil Olawye from what I had I learned that this guy happens to be one of the toughest thugs in either Shomolu or Mushin and I'm sure you will see the picture now people that know him will definitely know that this is the person I'm talking about because he, he is the one that always he does not even know how to read i don't think this guy finished primary school not to talk of secondary school 
he does not know how to read he does not know how to write but the police recruited him all in the name that they don't they want him to be part of their team so that it can you know help to chill them whenever they are in the war front their are operations that they are going for so can you imagine this is uncalled for this is so disheartening and even the court get into the court you cannot even defend yourself you have to look for lawyer a lawyer that will that will defend you and getting a lawyer the lawyers too will be collecting money they will be asking for a ridiculous amount of money from you wow ha huh. even at the court session at the court building the corruption there is just too high I sat down and I started I started saying to myself what can be done to make this country a better place for everybody ha ah, honestly and I know some people, many people, they've lost their loved ones due to uh, all these maltreatments going on around, you know, with the SARS police brutality and so on and so forth. It is those that have been affected that will definitely feel the pains, that will definitely know the reason and understand why those people are crying and sass. I pray you listening to me do not fall a victim because if you fall a victim once or your family fall a victim sure you know it's going to be very tough and a bad experience my conclusion is that our orientation in Nigeria needs to be changed it needs to be changed because Everyone believe that whatever position or post that you find yourself, you are there for a selfish purpose and not for selfless service. This needs to be stopped. We all need to love our neighbors as ourselves. We all need to work together as one to make Nigeria a better place for everybody to live. Honestly, I have been so sad. I feel threatened. My six-year-old child was telling me, Daddy, I'm afraid. I'm afraid I can't go to the toilet to we alone. Tell me. If we don't do it now, we will do it for us. Thanks for listening.